Hi, in this video we're going to use the Entity Framework to delete one record. So we've got a project here where we're creating this database, and the next function up on our schedule is to do the delete function. So in a previous edition we had some code in here, and I deleted it because we were using a SQL approach instead of the Entity approach. Now I want to do to the delete so first of all, I can get the same uh, results here if I copy from details and paste it into the delete area. So that will get me started. That will give me access to the one record that matches with the ID number. So context.gadgets singular default selects the one item. So the next two lines that we're going to make are going to actually do the deleting. So first of all, I'm going to call a state change. So I'm going to type in context.entry and say that I'm looking for this specific uh, gadget. Change his state, so state equals. And then I'm going to look for something called entity state, which is found in system data enti entity. And then I'm looking for, finally, the word deleted at the end. Now that will set the state. And now I want the database to synchronize the changes, so I type in context.savechanges. And so that will now execute the statement. Now there's one other thing that I could do to make this uh, code a little bit shorter, is I could delete the items, this uh, whole library name, and then this should cause an error here. And then I can go and use that at the top of the page. So, got the same effect, it's just that now I have to use the uh, one of these up here, which one was it? This guy, line 5. So before I test this out, I'm going to modify uh, the index page down here. So if I were to send index into the uh, controller or to the next view, it would uh, probably have an error because I've just deleted one of the items. So I just want to change this from view to redirect, and I'm going to tell it to go to the pathway of gadgets. Quotation marks correct. So there we go, gadgets is the way. So now it will redisplay the index page. Let's see if that runs. All right, looks like the app's up and running, so let's go ahead and show the entire list, and then we'll delete one. So let's uh, pick somebody out of the list. Let's choose bug detector and delete him. So I'm going to choose delete, and it refreshed the page. So let's see, is there a bug detector? It looks like he's gone from the list. So try to delete a few and see if you can test and verify that it's actually working. All right, so I'm gonna go and check the SQL Server to make sure that the database is indeed deleting these items. So let's expand some of these, and uh, let's see if there's some table, or some items missing from the table. So let's go into the folder to called Tables, and then we'll go to the Gadget Models, right-click and choose View Data. Okay, so it finally arrived here. You can see that it starts at item number two, so I must have deleted number one. And scrolling down the list here, I've got missing number 10. So 10 seems to be the one that was the bug detector. So it looks like the uh, data is being deleted correctly. Now we're gonna have to do some searching and editing in the next few videos.